guys, welcome to a new video. Today I have a quick, quick review of the Andromeda Strain, a film by Robert Wise. So this is based on the book by Michael Crichton, I believe that's his name. If you've heard his name, Westworld, Jurassic Park. He wrote a book, a novel. Two years later, they made the movie. So, very, very awesome movie. It's, it's just insane. Um, I was watching it and I, I did read on Reddit that it was like, oh my God, that movie kept me on the edge of my seat. Well, yeah, it, it does. Even though it's an old movie, 1971, pretty old movie. Um, so let's start with this one. Uh, this is my Arrow version. This is Region B. So if you don't have this one, it, it might be a little bit different, but um, it has a lot of extras and a lot of goodies in here. So the vibe that I got, um, the special effects are by a gentleman that also did special effects in uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey. So you can see some similarities there. That's where it ends. Um, the whole story is about satellite that fell on earth, dead people, what's going on, let's start investigating. In the meantime, very conveniently nearby, there's a government facility by doctor that he wanted this facility because of the we were exploring the moon and this facility is made to control a extraterrestrial organism all right so it has some built-in safety features you, you'll see that throughout the movie very cool um the stage the the sets are very intricate like 2001 a space odyssey so they spent a lot of money. They didn't just, oh, you just don't spend on that. No, they spent a lot of money. You could tell on the quality, on, on the mechanisms, on the whole set itself. Very cool set. Very cool uh, ambiance. And the music, the music was just uh, chilling. It, it gets into you. So back to the movie. So once uh, there's the dead people in the town, they discovered two survival survivors and one is a little boy so he was crying throughout the movie and it just hurt me i just I have a one-year-old so um that gets to you too so if you're a parent that will get to you because you keep hearing him crying um no i don't want to do more spoilers if you haven't seen it but it keeps going it keeps getting more tense more tense and then you get the climax and it's really freaking awesome after that um, you're left with a feeling, well, I was left with a feeling like there could have been a sequel. There should be a sequel. I don't know if there's a sequel or some or a plan or something. I'm going to look more into it to see if there is an actual sequel, which would be awesome. But overall, the quality of the movie, the quality of the transfer is pretty good. There are some spots where you can see too much grain. I'm not... Uh, too big of a fan of too much grain. I'm, I'm okay with some film grain. Um, there was one part where I couldn't uh, distinguish some of the sounds and one part that I thought I couldn't hear but it was because he was behind a glass. So there was like it was isolated even from sound so that was pretty smart. Um, overall uh, there were some scenes where they do like a kind of like a comic book panel where they focus on somebody and it's just uh, like a square and then everything's blank and then they show what they're seeing it's that was pretty interesting so there's a scene where two guys are looking in a window so you can see like a rectangle where they are and then over here is like another like a screen another picture in picture of what they're looking at while they're looking through the window at the same time so you know how some some movies show you that and cut and then show you what they're looking well this is at the same time what they were looking at it was pretty cool. That was very interesting. So they did like little squares like that. <clears throat> a couple of flashbacks were thrown in that uh, method too. Pretty cool. So overall, I would recommend this movie. It's only an hour, what, two hours, 20 minutes, 12 or 10 minutes, like something like that. Special effect features on this is pretty cool because they have, um, let me see, some uh, audio commentary. They have a feature from 2001. They have a whole bunch of stuff. So get you read. They have a uh, a new strain of science fiction, which is cool because it's 
this like border science fiction science fact with all the stuff they're doing pretty cool uh one cool thing um they have a computer like a main central computer and what they were talking about was just like that ibm computer that like can diagnose uh, diseases and stuff so there was you can see it here 1971 guys pretty awesome pretty cool so i absolutely recommend it go watch it like i said if you can buy it you can find it on amazon i'll leave the description if you can find it in a library go rent it out thank you very much guys Thank you for watching the video if you like this video you like this review please let me know give it a thumbs up leave me a commentary in the comment section all right bye, -bye.